If you publish a blog, your happiest day is when someone links to one of your posts and a flood of readers comes your way. That happy day turns sad very quickly, however, if those new readers can't actually read your post. I'm Jeff Ammons, and in this course I'm going to show you exactly how to set up and run a blog that will be easy to maintain, fast at delivering content, nearly infinitely scalable, and much more secure than most blogs. We're going to achieve those lofty goals by using a static website generator and doing all the heavy lifting once while we're publishing a post, not each time a reader asks to read the post. In this module, we'll discuss why you might want to use a static website generator for your blog. Since most people use a traditional content management system like WordPress, you're probably wondering why you should buck that trend and use a static site generator instead. The honest answer is that for most people, a CMS like WordPress is the best choice. I'm going to show you some reasons why I prefer a static generator. Now, I can't tell you which choice is right for you, but I can spell out the options so that you can decide for yourself. There's no doubt that the easy path is to fire up an account on WordPress.com and start writing. But if you are the kind of person who wants more control and ultimate performance, then stick with me and let's find out if a static site generator is for you. So what are the advantages of a static site generator? First and second are speed and scalability. Since you do all your processing once and then deploy plain old HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files to your readers, it is literally impossible to have a faster blog. Since the blog is 100% stateless, you can scale it to as many servers as you like, giving you practically infinite scalability. Next, you get the highest reliability possible because you have fewer moving parts that can break. You will never have a database error if you don't have a database, for instance. No website is immune from attack, but a static site with no logins will obviously have fewer entry points than a CMS. Securing a website is like securing a house. The fewer doors and windows you have, the harder it is to break in. If you're a programmer, you probably think coding without version control is like riding a motorcycle without a helmet. It's just fine until it suddenly and catastrophically isn't fine. So why not apply that same safety net to your blog? Okay, so odds are if you work with code at any level, you have a favorite text editor. It's an old friend whose quirks and strengths you know by heart. Why not use that to write your blog instead of a generic blog engines editor? Finally, since most static site generators use a similar format for storing blog posts in plain text, you can avoid locking yourself into a specific blog engine. 